Why do we have an appendix if we don't need it? For a long time, the appendix was considered a useless body part, something left over from evolution that no longer served a purpose in modern humans. Many people still believe that we don't need it at all, especially because people can live without it. But modern biology and anatomy tell a more interesting story. In this article, we'll explore what the appendix is, where it is in the body, what it may actually do, and why it might not be as useless as it seems, all explained in simple terms so that anyone, even someone new to biology, can understand. What is the appendix? The appendix is a small, tube-like structure that sticks out from the cecum, which is the first part of the large intestine. It's found in the lower right side of your abdomen. In medical terms, it is called the vermiform appendix, which means worm-shaped appendix because it looks like a small worm or finger. It is usually three to five inches long. Even though it's tiny and doesn't play a big role in digestion like the stomach or small intestine, its structure and position tell us a lot about its past and maybe even its purpose today. Why we have appendix. To understand why we have an appendix, we need to go back to our evolutionary history. Millions of years ago, our ancestors had very different diets. They ate lots of raw plants, leaves, and roots, which are hard to digest. Back then, their cecum and appendix were much larger and acted as a fermentation chamber. In this chamber, bacteria helped break down the tough fibers in plants. But as humans evolved, we started cooking food and eating more meat, fruits, and processed grains. These foods are easier to digest, so our digestive system didn't need such a big cecum anymore. Over time, the cecum shrank and the appendix became smaller too. Because it became so small and seemed to serve no purpose, scientists thought the appendix was a vestigial organ, a leftover from evolution that no longer had a function. But now we know that's not entirely true. What does the appendix actually do? More recent research shows that the appendix may still have important functions, especially in supporting our immune system and maintaining a healthy balance of gut bacteria. Let's take a closer look at the two main functions scientists now believe the appendix performs. 1. A safe house for good bacteria. Your digestive tract, especially the colon, is home to trillions of good bacteria. These bacteria help break down food, produce vitamins, and protect you from harmful germs. When you get a serious stomach infection, for example, severe diarrhea caused by food poisoning, most of these good bacteria get flushed out of your intestines. That's when the appendix steps in. Because the appendix is a narrow, closed-end tube attached to the side of the cecum, it's protected from the main flow of waste. It acts like a safe storage area where some of these helpful bacteria can hide during an infection. Once the infection is over and your gut is empty, the bacteria from the appendix can come out and repopulate the rest of the colon, helping your digestive system return to normal faster. Think of the appendix like a backup tank for your gut's bacteria, small, quiet, but helpful when needed. Two, helps the immune system, especially in early life. The appendix contains lymphoid tissue, which is part of your lymphatic system, the body's defense system that helps fight infections and diseases. This tissue is rich in white blood cells, which are the soldiers of your immune system. In children and young adults, the appendix plays a role in developing immune responses by exposing immune cells to different bacteria and antigens. Basically, the appendix may help train the immune system during early life, teaching it to recognize harmful invaders and to build resistance to them. While this immune function seems to decrease as you grow older, it still shows that the appendix has a meaningful role, especially when the immune system is still developing. If it's useful, why can we live without it? This is a great question. Yes, you can live without the appendix, and many people do, especially those who have had appendicitis and needed surgery to remove it. That's why some people think it's not important. But just because you can live without something doesn't mean it has no purpose. For example, people can live without one kidney, tonsils, or even their gallbladder, but those organs all do helpful things. The body is amazing because it can adapt and compensate when one part is removed, especially with good health care, clean water, and proper nutrition. However, in places where people don't have access to clean water or medical care, the appendix might play a more important role in gut health and recovery from infections. What is appendicitis? Appendicitis is when the appendix becomes inflamed and infected. It usually happens when something blocks the opening of the appendix, like hard stool, swelling, or bacteria. When blocked, the appendix fills with pus, a thick fluid full of white blood cells and bacteria, and this causes pain and swelling. 
If not treated quickly, the appendix can burst, which can spread infection to the rest of the abdomen, a dangerous condition called peritonitis. Symptoms of appendicitis include sudden pain in the lower right belly, fever, nausea and vomiting, loss of appetite. Treatment usually involves removing the appendix through surgery, a procedure called an appendectomy. Final thoughts? In human anatomy, every part of the body has a story. The appendix may be small and often ignored, but it's not useless. It helps protect and support our digestive and immune systems, especially in ways we didn't fully understand until recently. So the next time someone says, why do we even have an appendix if we don't need it? You can confidently say, actually, the appendix stores good bacteria and helps our immune system, especially when we're young. Even the smallest parts of the body can have quiet, important jobs.